You want to watch my previous training videos on creating a form because if you haven't, then this training video is not going to make any sense. Here I want to show you what's called automating the form, meaning after the fields have been filled out in my form, I can pull that data anywhere onto another page in this document, like down here onto page 2. I've got a form letter here that I want to address the right person from the form, and so instead of scrolling up and down between the form and my form letters saying, okay, who is the first name? Oh, I forgot. Let me scroll back up and then type in their last name, or you can even split the window as we talked about in an earlier training video and look in the top part for page 1 and then down below this is page 2 and typing in what you see in that window well don't do that you can use the cross reference tool that allows you to pull information from those fields down below here I mean automation just sounds so fabulous and so if you don't know anything about cross referencing then watch my training video on it but before we go ahead and set this up and insert a cross references to reference these fields that we want to pull in like for the title and then their last name well let me go ahead and finish my form here so dear title then last name Dreamforce looks forward to completing your video trainer request for and then we'll pull in the software field the cross reference and then the estimated time for completion is we'll pull in the ETA field so let's scroll back up and we need to tweak the fields here if we want them to be pulled in as a cross reference so go ahead and double click on the field to open it up and as a quick review with the bookmarks because when you're doing a cross reference for the bookmarks the name of the field well it used to be generically as you recall when we started setting up our forms was called drop down one I don't know about you but when I'm looking for a field to cross reference to if I have a lot of drop down fields what the heck is drop down one is that referring to the first field which is the title field make it easier on yourself or at least for me to go ahead and actually type in the name of the field as the bookmark so when I insert the cross reference I know how oh, that's for the title so go ahead and update your bookmark something that makes sense to you for each of the fields I just name it after the field and then you want to be able to go ahead and check calculate on exit because if you don't do that and you pull that in it'll pull in select one but when the user selects something else and exits that field it'll calculate it and update it when it comes to cross-referencing with the update from the selection they chose in that field like if they chose misses of course if they go back to select one then that's what's going to be pulled in the form letter down below on page two so you want to make sure that you've got all your bookmarks updated with a name that you'll understand when you want to reference it so you know what you're referencing and to make sure all the fields that you want to pull in as in this example we just have three onto page two that it has calculate on exit so just as simple as let me click okie dokie as a double click and as far as what we're doing I just need to have those calculate on exit and in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and have all the fields calculate on exit in case if at one point we want to go ahead and do a little extra work so in a quick wink I'll have it done and well I did them all except for the last one here that yes you can actually do it on check boxes double click and calculate on exit whether it's checked yes or no let's go ahead and click okie dokie now with it all set up for our form let's go down to page two and have this set up correctly or we can insert those cross references for like dear dear who well let's do the title and to insert a cross reference if you watch my cross reference training video it's up here on the references tab go to the captions group select cross reference make sure you got the reference type as bookmark and then down below I want to do title so you see it says for which bookmark if I had a bunch of drop downs that would be too annoying but I know I'm looking for title and there it is select it click insert cool close out let me add a space in between the title and there let's do cross reference last name insert close out and then Dreamforce looks forward to completing your video trainer request for what type of software well we want to cross reference scroll down to reference the software fields so we can pull in whatever they type in that field here let me close out and then the estimated time the ETA field let's go ahead and cross reference there's ETA insert close out cool now I just need to do a little cleanup like I've got an extra space between well what they select or what the inputs gonna be and the period so let me delete that extra gapage there and also for the software train desired get rid of the gapage and then well when I right click 
on the text there. It's in Garamound as opposed to right-clicking somewhere else, which is Times New Roman. I'm just going to go ahead and select all those fields. And in the mini formatting toolbar, make them all the same time. There we go, Times New Roman. Hit Enter. Okay, that looks a lot better, all uniformed. Let's go ahead and scroll back up because we're ready. All we need to do now is go ahead and protect the form, lock it down, which as you recall, we can do it from the Review or Developer tab. Go to the Protect group, click Restrict Editing, and, well, make sure number two, the Editing Restrictions. You got it checked and it's filling in forms, and then you want to start enforcing. I'll do it without the password and click Okie Dokie. Close out. And now I want to save this as a template or update my template. And I can do that by coming up here, clicking on Save As. Let's change it from a Word document to a template.dotx. And there's the template that we already saved in the previous training video. Let's just update it, overwrite it with our newest new client form. Select it, click Save. You sure you want to replace it? Yes. And then let's go ahead and close out. And we're waiting for a client. Oh, we just got one. Let's go ahead and open up Word. And then go backstage, File, to New, to Personal, to My Spiffy New Client Form. Click on it. And let's go ahead and fill it in. Now remember, on page two, it's only pulling in fields from Title, which if I do Mr. Now make sure you exit because it calculates on exit. If I don't exit it, well, it's not going to update it. So I have to hit the tab key or just move to another field. And then I can type in Kurt. Well, I don't have to do this. Type in all the fields. We can just focus on, well, the four, like the title, last name, triple click, software training desired, or 2016, and then the ETA six weeks and make sure I hit the tab key or I get out of that field so I can calculate that and let's see if it did it. Let's scroll down to page two. Dear Mr. Kershaw, oh that is so tinsel. And Dreamforce looks forward to completing for Word 2016 done in six weeks. Now don't you feel like a pro and you can do some automation like that? Pretty cool. I like it. And if you want to go ahead and print this off, of course. File, print, and well the preview is page two. You want to make sure you only print page two unless, of course, you want what's on page one, which, well, I don't. So it doesn't matter what page you're viewing. Just make sure in the pages you type in two because you just want to print in page number two. Click print and away you go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.